The game is so physical. That's the kind of game I like. My team was physical. Hey, this is Reggie Theus. I'm the coach of Bivouac, and I'm gonna take you inside the film room. Oh, uh, okay, so before the game started, Bynum says, Coach, you don't have to worry about what I'm going to do today because I'm going at Frank Nitty. Bynum versus Session. This is Chicago versus SoCal. He hit him with a couple of crossovers, a couple of hezzies. Made my job easy. I was laughing the whole time. Like, the funny thing about the way people try to guard him is they try to pick him up full court. The problem is, is that even if you back off, he's still coming downhill. And as they found out, it's a major problem. <laughs> it's a major problem. Set the screen. How you, how you teach that? That's big three. How you teach that? See, it makes me look like I drew it up. I had nothing to do with this, by the way. <laughs> what do they say in the barbershop? Next. I tell you what, this kid here, he is quick. He's got a great second jump. So athletic. Watch this. Rip. Bam. See, this is downhill. You can't, there's nothing. Who's guarding him? Why would you put someone like that on Will Bynum at the top of the key? There's nothing you can do about that. Josh Smith, open for three. Yes! We were up by 15, and this is early in the season, but down the stretch, Joe took over the game. And Joe Johnson, come on. I expect Joe to always play well. Obviously should be in the NBA right now, but he's just one of those guys, he's so strong, he's so wide that he can gain space and he can, he can bump you off. He's got a lot of old school in him. And then he got touch. And then he's shooting like 80, 85, 86% from the free throw line. So there's really not much you can do about Joe Johnson when, you, when, he, when the game's on the line. Here's a matchup. Game oh. Steve. By the by Taylor. Oh, oh. Slow him down. Pull it back. Yo, yo. And then go. Hey, look. I had a hezzy back in the day. But that was a hezzy. That was another level hezzy. We used to call ours a stutter step. Now let's call it Hezzy. Archie Clark. <laughs> How about this with attitude? Get off me, young fella. Out of here. <laughs> he didn't even look back at him. No chest bump, no screaming. That's a vet there. Our team was interesting. Probably the, the toughest team in the league to coach. I had to earn my relationship with my guys. Josh does play with a chip on his shoulder. And you know, the thing is, is that they have an idea how they want to play. My job is to just give them room to play and then pull them back when I need to. Difficult team to coach, <laughs> to say the least. This is one of the games where I remember this, is that we were bad defensively. You can see that, you know, give and go, quick back door, no help on the backside. We made a great comeback, but still, it just wasn't enough. Josh. As good as he can be from the perimeter, he's really good. One of the best rebounders in the league. And he can score around the basket. So he's a mismatch for anybody guarding him. Bynum lost it. Taylor on a ball loose. Here's Smith. Let's that was a foul, by the way. Are you kidding me? How does the referee not call that? He almost tackled the man. You know, I coached him in the, uh, in the D League back in the day. And uh, Taylor gave me fits when I was coached with the defenders, and he gave me fits that night too, because that was a foul, for sure. We made a great comeback in this game. We just did not pull it off at the end. You said they could pick up another player. Yeah, someone like them, a teenager. Okay, I have a friend that's here who's their age. We're coming in the gym to work out. Can he play? Yeah, fine. Okay. Yo, Kobe! Dude. <laughs> What's up with the hair? <laughs> That's a flat top. That's a low flat top fade. Okay, you know, we had a, it was a, it was a fun show. We had a lot of young guys come on the show, a lot of stars. Anthony Anderson, that was one of his breakout moments because, you know, right after that, he took off and became a pretty big star as he is now. I told him not too long ago, says, you big time star now, but you're always Teddy to me. <laughs> I was the message bearer. I was the guy that was always given the, you know, uh, the, <laughs> Hey, <laughs> one of those kind of things. I can tell you this, before I started doing that show, I used to be pretty cool. I mean, what can I tell you? I used to be pretty cool, so. 
but you can only get hit in the face with a pie so many times and you know still keep your cool yeah you know kobe and i have a relationship and uh, you never know so yeah bivouac kobe you know listen you never know hey there you have it that was my first season it was a blast can't wait for 2020 season four coming up <laughs>